the letter A. Let's draw in our horizon line. There we go. We're going to use the farthest edges where the horizon line meets the left and right side of our paper as our vanishing points. And we need to create a block. So draw in your vertical line. That's going to give us the height of our block. There's our first one. You don't have to draw the arrow. I'm just showing you. I'm just going to label mine as we go. All right, so I need the left side angling to the left vanishing point. That's how far back my left side's going to go. And I need to angle to the right vanishing point. It's a little bit wider on the right side because that's where my A is going to be drawn. Left side, right side. Create your model like it's being created out of rectangles. So for me, I like to create an A that has two vertical rectangles, a bar on top, a bar in the middle. All right, so I'm going to create that within the space. To me, the obvious, uh, easiest decision to make, create these two verticals there. That's simply drawing a line over on the right side and a line on the left side. Just by drawing those two lines, that's done. That's done. All right. Now the next logical step for me, I'm thinking, is that horizontal bar. Remember, there are no horizontals. We're opening this up to the right, so we have to use our right vanishing point. I'm going to say that's going to look good there. Done. I'm going to plot the top and the bottom of this bar so I can make sure it looks good, what I think looks good. No horizontals, they got an angle swinging open to the right side, so angling right, angling right. That's done. All right, served its purpose. No Frankensteins. The next step is to erase. So no Frankenstein letters. My eraser, guys, is terrible. And this is no longer, well, it is kind of part of my letter. That is going to be the side of my A here. So maybe I leave that one. So now check corners. Remember when we created the boxes? In order to create back corners, we have to crisscross um, the sides to the opposite vanishing point. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to check all of these corners. What I like to do is put my pencil right on the left vanishing point lean my ruler against it and start angling towards all of these corners that one is already done for us and since that hinge like i've been talking about this being thinking of it like a door that's swinging open to the right well that hinge it's going from the top to the very bottom so we already know this is a side That's a side. I'm going to shade that in like a medium value. All right, terrible shading job. And then I'm going to just start scanning over all those corners until I come to one that I can... There's one. Inside corners count, guys. This is going to be a side of that, so that's going to be a medium value. I'm going to keep scanning. There's the other one. This is the side of that, so that's going to be a medium value. And this is underneath this bar. It's like if we were a little guy standing here, boop, 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 and we were looking up, that would be the ceiling. So that's going to be the dark value. Same with this one. If we were standing on top of this bar, kind of like in this tunnel area, we would be looking up. That would be the ceiling. So that's going to be dark, a dark value. And that's pretty much your letter A. Um, we want the sides to relate. This is going back in space to the left, that amount. Uh, I could be picky and say, well, we should see a back corner. That should be about the same width and create a back corner. But we're not going to worry about it. 
exactly, but let's say this was a thin slice A. So I've talked to you guys about having it be a thin slice. Well, if we change things up, it would look like this. For those of you who want to have thinner sliced letters, if this is going to be a thin slice A and that's how far back it goes, well, this stuff all needs to relate also. So I'm going to go over to the sides and take care of it, of these sides. It's going to run up into that corner, so maybe it looks like this. Get used to hearing minnow in my videos. Yes, minnow, we hear you. There's the side. But notice now we have a corner, an inside corner we have to deal with. It's angling this way. You know, it's angling from the upper left to the lower right. Well, that means we have to use the right vanishing point. So this now is our ceiling, and that would be darkened in. Same with this one under here. That would be my thin slice A. So I would end up erasing all of this. And you'd be able to stick your hand through that and wave to the other side. So there is the letter A.